best answer we to, that we have to all these issues is developing a different economic model, which is called the circular um, model, circular economy model. And the idea is very opposite to what we currently have, which is a linear model, which is about making, using, and then throwing things away, where the circular economy talks about and wants to design things to keep them in a system for as long as possible. And so we design out waste um, rather than we, de we design waste out of the system. So design is, uh, waste is seen as a design flaw. And if we are smarter with the, with the way we design things and make things and not, not design only um, objects, physical objects, but also systems, we can design a much better life for ourselves that is kinder to each other and to the planet, basically, we hope. So these are just two things that have happened to me in my personal life, which were really very powerful for me. Um, the one was going on a day long tour of, of three different um, landfills in, in and around Cape Town. Um, I mean, the first thing I must say that I was remarkable was it didn't smell nearly as bad as I thought it would. <laughs> And the other thing was the a number of birds. I mean, the birds are swarming around these places. Um, quite amazing. And then, the, I mean, the third thing was just how much stuff is being thrown away that should not be there. I mean, the one thing that really struck me was um, throwing away clean sanitary towels. I mean, and we have communities of people who don't have access to sanitary tiles and then sanitary tiles are just being thrown away because of tiny little defects. So you think these should not be going there. They should be going to schools where they've needed. Mm. Anyway, that was quite remarkable. And then this is just, I do, I, one of my partners, one of my business partners is a woman who um, used to work for WWF and she now runs an organization called the Beach Co-op. And we do beach cleanups. We're doing one on uh, Nelson Mandela Day, and they're very. They first, it's a fantastic way to spend a day, but they're also incredibly powerful to go and see what what lands up on the beach. Often through you know, by from coming down rivers, um, just people leaving up there, coming out of the sewage, coming off the ships. Um, yeah, and then you see, and and she she makes us document them, so she has a database of how much waste. Um, she collects and she can track the, 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 the most common plastic items that are become litter and what the brands are. So it's very powerful research that she's, she's actually currently doing a, a PhD. Um, yeah, very interesting stuff. And then this is another organization. So we're getting to the positive stuff. This is a community-based open source design a studio in one of the townships in Cape Town. And they work a lot with waste. Um, they make beautiful products. This, you know, they do. They use design thinking. Um, there are about twenty up signed up members, and yeah, they just do. They're great. They do. We're actually working with them now um, with this plastic free, this plastic free community, uh, the plastic free project. It's it's great. Um, and then I would, I just want to come to the SDGs because the SDGs are, I think when they were first founded in 2015, I don't think many of us took much notice of them and they've increasingly become really relevant and really important as creating a framework for a lot of people's work and thinking around finding solutions to the problems that have been identified that need to be solved. And there's a deadline to this, which is 2030. Um, the deadline, I'm right, Anne and, and Harriet, it's a yeah, 2030 yeah, yeah. deadline. 2030, yeah, yeah. yeah which is the same deadline that we have for reducing carbon emissions mm -hmm. for in, to, 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 to try and avoid meet, reaching that um, increase in temperature, which will make the planet unlivable. So it's quite interesting working with a, with a deadline. Um, it's a 10 year deadline and we know that the years fly by. So there's a lot of work to do. Anyway, so we've identified um, as TWIG, we work, Around, a lot around um, SDG 12, which is um, conscious consumption and responsible production patterns, kind of fits in quite nicely with um, fashion. 